I've always said that I'm probably the least ambitious person in the world, so I guess in true Kiwi style, I've always kind of scoffed a little bit at ambition. Um, but I guess ambition is about chasing a goal, or I, I think it's changed for me. Um, I think now, for me, ambition is about possibility and what's possible and hope as well. So possibility and hope now, but that's probably been a journey to get to that point. So are you ambitious? Am I ambitious? Well, like I've said, I've always said I'm the least ambitious person in the world. Having said that, I always believe that if I want to do something, I can do it. I, don't, I always have a really strong sense of possibility. So if if I if I think I want to do something, I'll just go and do it. As in setting up to her. I was going to say it seems like you've done quite a lot for someone it's, who says they're not particularly ambitious. Yeah, but I guess I don't do that because I um, because I've set out with a plan that I want to create a hub. And what I do is I respond to what I see as a possibility that will be helpful. And it happens kind so, of organically from there. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I, one of the books that I read um, was Getting to Maybe. I read this about five years ago. Have you ever read Getting to Maybe? It's a great book to read. And that's all about that organic. Um, so you don't necessarily, like you might know where you're going, but sometimes, yeah, it's a gathering of energy, I guess. And go, go where the energy is kind of thing. So sometimes, yeah. And have you been like that always? You've, you've always followed that kind of... I've always path? been really confident that I can do what I want to do. I've never worried if I haven't had a job because I've always known that somehow I can make a job. But like I say, I'm not ambitious. Like <laughs> materialistically, we're yeah. very unambitious. And um, I have no great dreams for myself particularly. So could you describe the most ambitious person you know for me? Oh, wow. I don't think I know a lot of ambitious people. Well, my circle is probably not what I would call ambitious. Um, I guess, and, uh, ironically, one of, the most, or one of the ambitious people I know, I, I think I might say Celeste, who you've just interviewed, because she has a really strong, strong sense of what she wants to achieve. So... Um, yeah, she's, she's really sure of what she wants to make a difference on. Whereas, I guess I'm sure that I want to... Um, I guess I do want to make a difference in Kaikoura, but not necessarily me. And I guess that's where I'm struggling. Ambition Is ambition about yourself, or is it a more general thing? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything that you think would make you more ambitious, or are you quite content with seeing possibility? Yeah, no, I'm quite content with where I'm at. I mean, <laughs> maybe I should be more ambitious. Um, but, no, I don't think so. I think there's nothing that I can <laughs> put to mind. I guess Ezra and I have just been having a big discussion about schooling and, and success at school and school systems and how that works. And I guess, loosely defined, have, I have an ambition that that in Kaikoura we can get to a place where all our young people are confident and optimistic. I mean, that's kind of the Kaikoura Youth Council vision. But So I have a big vision that I'm working towards, but it's not about me, if you know what I mean. 